All right, so if you look at this image, uh, we have a little bit of a decoration here and a little bit of a decoration here. Uh, so I'm just going to be developing those two decorations. So nothing big here in this video, but again, you know, I kind of keep my videos down to about, you know, five to eight minutes. Okay, duplicate face. That way you could take a break and... Okay, grab that model that I just duplicated. Uh, take in, go into polygons and extrude that out. Now I have a good chunk. I'll modify center pivot. Move it into position and then kind of shape it to what I need. Okay, again, I want this to be an inside and outside model. Uh, I notice these windows are, you know, when you do look on the out inside, it's got that same structure. I looked up a couple references for it. So insert edge loop right here in the center. Uh, lay, raise that up. And I'll just kind of make sure that's in the center. So I'll hit four on the keyboard. Sure enough, it is. Now, if I wanted to make that more tapered, I'll just go like this. Grab the verts, this side and this side, and raise those up a little bit too. But that's as complex as I'm going to get with that model. I can use that for other things within the engine. Okay, six on the keyboard. And that's a good, if you look at it, it's a good separation between the window and the brick. But I want to make sure that it makes sense. So see that frame right there? Um, thinking like a builder here and I would say that this would probably be something like that there we go that looks a lot better architecturally that makes more sense okay thing at the bottom so again MO duplicate face oops Uh, I hate when I do that. So uh, sometimes when you duplicate the face, if you let go too fast, it's just so much easier to undo it and just reduplicate it. So you get this blue arrow. There we go. Okay, object mode, modify center pivot, scale it into position, move it. Thicken it up. And there we go, we have that deco. So the one thing about this this piece is it's going to be ran by an entire one one shot texture. Well, no, actually this, this, and this is going to be one texture, one material. Um, because that way I can reuse these chunks over and over. Uh, this one's going to be something as far as a material and texture, and this one's going to be a material and texture. That way I can make variances of the window being broke or not broke. All right, at this point, I like it how it is, and um, I just try to arrange it so it makes sense. I don't know why it's got a gimbal lock going on right there where I can't zoom around my model without it kind of sticking. I don't know what that is. Interesting. Okay. Well, just going to make a new perspective window here. I'll deal with it in the next video. So in here, I'm just going to combine that and that's going to be my one chunk. Um, I'll separate it into three or four chunks later, but I need it right now to be one big chunk so I can make other chunks off of it. So this one's going to be repeated over and over. And you can just test that by hitting Shift D, and there we go. 
Now the spacing between the windows, if you want that a little bit bigger, uh, what you just do is thicken up the side. In this case, that kind of makes sense. Alright, make sure you save this and let's move on to the next video.